Ariola draws the walk with one out. We are at the NCAA Women's College World Series. The 16 seed Hawaii, the 10 seed Arizona, Beth Mowens, Jessica Mendoza, and Holly Rowe. 10 o'clock local, 11 on the East Coast. Five o'clock out at uh, Duke's Canoe Club in Honolulu. What a, a fantastic run it's been for Hawaii through the postseason. They've picked up fans every stop of the way, enjoying not only their play, but the spirit with which they play the game. And as Holly Rowe reported, their coach Bob Coolen, a longtime John Wooden disciple, and who better to follow and uh, let set the standard for how you coach and play the game. Well, Beth, you mentioned 5 o'clock p.m. back in Hawaii. A lot of these Hawaii players talking about the super regional win versus Alabama, a huge upset, but they said the whole island erupted because they, a lot of the players were saying everyone leaves their door open in Hawaii. And so as soon as that win happened, you could hear everyone cheering from across the island. And it, it was hilarious, too, because it said some of the TVs were a little bit delayed, so it was a cheer, and then about 30 <laughs> seconds later, another cheer, and... They said they could feel that love getting so many phone calls and text messages, even though they've been on the road for so long, still feeling that, that love from their home island. Kirker pops it up in foul territory, and the catch is made by Tawali. Two down. Eight teams arrived here in Oklahoma City midweek. We will be down to four tomorrow. Florida, Washington, and Missouri all eliminated today. UCLA will face Georgia tomorrow. The winner of this game will take on Tennessee. Double elimination format until Monday night. Best two of three in the championship series. Last year, the Washington Huskies defeated Florida in two games. And both of those teams ousted today. They ended uh, the brilliant careers of Danielle Laurie for Washington and Francesca Anea for the University of Florida. Carissa Buchanan singled and scored in the third inning. And the RBI double from Kaylee Arredondo. We talked about the possibility of a number 15 versus a number 16 tomorrow. There's also a tremendous rivalry that has developed between Arizona and Tennessee, if that is the case. And legging it out safely is Buchanan. Two on with two out for the top of the order. A web jam earlier in the inning from Putin Warren. We've seen some great glove work all week. Well, Taylor Schlopey jumping up and getting this one. Megan Wiggins slamming into the fence, and then Francesca Anea knowing her ground. And as we saw just earlier, Putin Warren laying out. We're going to keep Sports Center busy tonight <laughs> with all these web gems. The two out rally here for Arizona and Brittany Lestraps. Two hits, two runs scored. Battling through a bout with mononucleosis, as Hall of Fame Stadium reporter Holly Rowe told us earlier. Has not been practicing much the last couple of weeks, just playing games to conserve her strength. Sixty-four miles uh, an hour from Stephanie Ricketts. The sophomore who uh, was battling illness herself last weekend in the Super Regionals. Kaya Parnaby, the freshman from Australia, was able to carry them through. And now Ricketts trying to keep it close and hope that the big bats of Hawaii can start swinging. They'll have three more at-bats. 
They try and erase the two run deficit. 3-1 to Lestrax and that's going to be a base hit. Candrea will hold up Areola at third. Bases loaded with two outs. What a night for Lestraps, her third base hit. Well, and Candrea says that she has the most pure swing on the team, and this is why she's able to stay so compact, smooth on this inside pitch. Doesn't try to do a whole lot with it. Kuu Warren coming in ready to throw. But because Lestraps hits that ball so hard, Candrea smartly holding up Areola at third. Conversation in the circle. So a chance for us to remind you that the Women's Championship Series game one is Monday night at seven or at eight o'clock Eastern live on ESPN2. For more information, go to NCAA.com, the official online home for all 88 NCAA championships. Game one on Monday, game two on Tuesday, and if necessary, we'll play another one Wednesday night here at Hall of Fame Stadium. The straps keeps the rally alive, and Lauren Schutzler with the bases loaded. She's laid down a sacrifice and grounded out to first. A hot shot gets through Pagadawan, and a run scores for Arizona. Buchanan will come in from second base. Lauren Schutzler delivers. One cats. The error charge to Pagaduan. This is just a shot by Schutzler. So tough for Yoshikawa to handle. And what might have been some help from the blue as it ricochets off of his quad, but two runs still end up scoring. Ariola from third, Buchanan all the way from second, and we remind you of the injury earlier tonight to starting shortstop Jessica Iwata. When she left the game, their starting second baseman, Tracy Yoshikawa, moved over to short, and Pagadawan came in off the bench to play second base. That's the injury to Iwata. And, uh, Bob Coolen will get Iwata back into the game as well as make a pitching change. So she will try and gut it out and play with the injury. And Ricketts departs. And on comes Kaya Parnaby, the freshman from Australia. And Kaya Parnaby able to kind of give a different look than Stephanie Ricketts. Stephanie Ricketts. Pitching well, trying to hit her spots, but Arizona doing a good job putting the ball in play, making Hawaii have to play defense, whether it be the speed or that last Schutzler just shot that caused the error. But Parnaby, being a left-handed pitcher, much more of a spotty pitcher, and she's gonna take off some of that velocity that Ricketts provided. So I think the goal here, keeping Arizona hitters off balance enough to be able to make the plays needed to get the win. Parnaby 19 and 6 on the season. Kaya won the WAC championship game for them. She pitched 11 innings in the Supers when Ricketts was sick. And she threw six innings against UCLA here at the World Series. The walk to Areola, the single by Buchanan, another one by Lestraps, and then the hot shot by Schutzler with the error on the second baseman. And they have busted this one open. Jessica Iwata is back at shortstop. Yoshikawa moves back over to second as Pagadawan comes out. This is a smart pitching change made it, especially with Kaylee Arredondo now up to bat, their hottest hitter right now. A single in the first, the RBI double in the third inning for Kaylee. Senior from Tempe, Arizona, four-year starter. 
comes from a family of Arizona Wildcats. And a sister, a mother, and an aunt. All big softball fans. Her sister played college ball. She has seen all the ups and downs. She was on their national championship team in 2007, was a starter out in left field. And then the dark days of 08 and 09 when they were sent home after consecutive losses. Lofts it out to center, Majum makes the catch, side retired. Two more runs across though for Arizona, it's 5-1 Cats. When we return, we'll show you the side trip and a very special one for Hawaii during their stay here in Oklahoma when we come back. 